Welcome everyone, Quistine here with Ace Combat 7, Skies Unknown on PC. And the purpose of this video is to talk about mouse and keyboard versus a joystick. At least from my experience and perspective. See, I haven't used a controller of any kind since I was very, very young. And there was some experience with arcade games, specifically with, with, the, with the joystick. Besides that, I have played exclusively on mouse and keyboard. Now, I've played Battlefield 3, 4, Battlefront, Microsoft Flight Simulator, etc. with the mouse and keyboard. It works, but there are certainly limitations that you are going to have with the mouse and keyboard. So, what's the issue? Well, tar target acquisition, weapon switching, flares, etc. do work pretty well on a mouse and keyboard. And in general, anything that requires keybinds or camera control, camera control being one of the main advantages that a mouse has, ver has against any controller, to be clear on this, because having this kind of awareness in any game, like being able to move the mouse, uh, the camera so accurately and quickly is a major advantage. And it's just something you are not going to do on, um, on a controller. Makes me wonder why the military, for instance, like I know the US military uses joysticks uh, to, for basically camera control with some of their, um, like the US military uses um, uh, controllers, like literally similar Xbox controllers, I think, to like guide uh, laser weapons and drones. Makes me wonder about that. But that's probably, you know, obviously real world situations do differ significantly than games. But here's the problem. And this is going to be a major issue that you're going to encounter on mouse and keyboard if you've played any flying game for any decent length of time. That, while it's certainly doable, there is one very significant limitation. Let's say I want to, like, I can move, I can uh, use my yaw control, I can roll just fine with the mouse, like, this is literally the mouse. And, but the problem is, like, if I want to, do fancy maneuvers like if I want to do a circle for instance well things tend to go down tend to collapse very very quickly so for instance let's say I want to do like I'm at 2000 altitude let me go a bit higher and I want to just do a circle this might be useful while you're dogfighting or when you're dive bombing because there's a lot of missions where Doing, having the ability of just going up and then turning around completely or pulling back up with precision is important. And I've crashed so many times in Battlefield, Battlefront, and even Microsoft Flight Simulator by trying to basically do a move like this. It does work, but I'm having to put in a significant amount of effort, having to literally pick up the mouse on my mouse pad because I'm running out of space, and just, you know, keep dragging it from one side to another. Now, sure, I'm stalling there, but the point is that it is not a great experience. I'm just going to pick up some speed. This MiG-29 that I've picked up is not, uh, not the fastest aircraft. Though it is a fairly agile aircraft, which is the reason I picked it up. So that is a problem. But you do have one advantage with the mouse. You can mo make a lot of moves very quickly, even if you have to do this bullshit. Like, I'm sure you guys, you might be hearing the mouse in the recording, but like, you can maneuver pretty quickly, which is an advantage. But the precision of your movements is <laughs> just not there. It's like, it's erratic movements to say the least. And it is something that's going to make you miss targets. It's something that's going to cause you to crash either in other aircraft or on the ground. Now, just to switch to a controller. Now, the con the to a joystick. I have a, Hot a Frostmaster Hotus X. It does seem to be, based on what I've read, the most reasonable option, at least for a budget. I didn't want to spend, like, a lot of money on it. And certainly, it doesn't feel like it's the best quality, but it does get the job done. Now, here's the difference in terms of the maneuver. Speed up. First off, speed. Let's talk about that. If you're using the mouse and keyboard when it comes to speed, you're going to have to uh, hold down W um, in order to maintain, uh, to maintain your speed. 
And you're also lacking speed uh, control. Like, and, you know, like I want to lose altitude here. I can get this oriented very quickly here, by the way. With, uh, with the mouse and keyboard. Like I said, you can fl certainly fly with it, but you will lose sight of what you're doing. This is a space elevator map, by the way. It's used for two missions in campaign. I've beaten the entire campaign on hard difficulty. I've even done some missions on ace difficulty, including the final two. With mouse and keyboard and with, uh, with the flight stick that I have. But yeah, speed, for instance. I have a throttle. Move the throttle up. You'll continue to pick up speed. Move it down. Now, when it comes to speed, one thing I will say, like, obviously, just being able to generate a lot of speed is nice. Hell, it's even nice if you decide to switch to just to take your hand off the throttle and just switch uh, to the keyboard because you know the speed is always going to pick up. So you can, it might give you some more flexibility when it comes to that. Okay, that's one thing. What about, one downside, though, is... Like, doing flares, target acquisition, for instance, switching between weapons. Uh, oh, let me just um, reorient it myself, because I was obviously going out of the map bounds there. And I am in some, I am experiencing some turbulence. Looks a lot worse than it actually is. Okay. So that is one. Uh, so so when it comes to like keybinds, it is easier to get the keybinds done on the mouse and keyboard. That's again one of the advantages of mouse and keyboard. Like the keybinds are available, but you don't need to use a throttle. You know, you don't need to have a throttle for that. You could obviously use you know the keyboard with a joystick, and that does work um, surprisingly well. Now. I did rebind some of the uh, some of the keys over here on this controller, uh, on this uh, joystick. Uh, specifically, my rolling by default, I would just move the joystick left or right, uh, and it would roll. I found that was not the greatest, but I did also try uh, Star Wars Squadrons, and in Star Wars Squadrons, your rolling is like literally just. Uh, rolling or rotating rotating your uh, your joystick and I went into the input menu I found what the roll uh, control was uh, for for uh, for the game the game that at least does support this uh, particular joystick like by the way you know we talk a lot about like um, we talk a lot about like my uh, mouse and keyboard keybinds and all that, but it's like it's kind of crap that a lot of games don't actually have the ability of rebinding keys. Star Wars Squadrons, for what it's worth, does have that. I'm just going to slow down a bit and going to pick up altitude. So rebindable keys, you're probably going to find uh, like from all the games that I've played, looking in the options menu, most of the time like a lot of games will give you the ability of rebinding. Um, on the mouse and keyboard, but not necessarily uh, the ability of rebinding on a joystick. Or you have to go, then, in this case, I could go into into an input file, but in the game, there is no way of changing the inputs. For either a controller, for either an Xbox controller, or for the flight stick that I am using. And hell, a lot of flight sticks are, aren't actually even supported by this game, which... Yeah, it kind of does suck. You can simulate it with uh, using with Steam. Basically, you're simulating an Xbox controller, but there are going to be some issues doing that as well. By the way, though, I'm not sure what kind of level support this game has. Okay, so keybinds better generally on mouse keyboard, partly because developers and the fact that they don't bother with that, and partly because more buttons on the mouse and keyboard, easier to reach, and all that. That that's just my perspective. Okay, but what's the advantage, the principal advantage of the joystick? As I talked about before, like, I don't have precision of movement. I do have precision of movement, uh, assuming I don't stall. Let me just pick up some speed. Going through. 
Hey. Okay, I crashed there, but I kind of got disoriented over over there. Um. I was trying to stay out of bounds. I, I was trying to stay within bounds. Okay, so. So if I just pitch my nose up, right? Like the control, the level of control that I do have with the joystick is substantially higher. So this is nose up, but let's say we want to do nose down. Again, I can do it. And obviously I can interrupt this maneuver, fly upside down. It's not exactly the most pleasant experience because your controls are inverted. I'm reminded uh, of that movie. Like this map is probably sm too small for the kind of fancy flying I want to do, but The controls are uh, far more precise when you're trying to do those kind of maneuvers. And that does matter. This kind of maneuver does matter in dogfighting. Now, I do find, and this might be something down to my personal experience, but here's one issue I do find, though, with the joystick. You might think, oh, okay, all well and good, right? Besides the key binds and camera control, joystick wins hands down. And it does in a lot of ways, like, undeniably so. But here's the problem. The speed of movements, while not accurate, <laughs> at least not in this game, while not accurate with the mouse, might be a sensitivity issue, I could lower the sensitivity. But one thing I do find with the mouse and keyboard that is significantly better. And again, this might just be a question of my experience because I have none and obviously I have a lot of years with the mouse and keyboard including in flying uh, flying games so you know if you're a good enough gamer you will adjust to whatever control method is available but one thing I do find and I'm not sure if it's something I can overcome is like just precision of shooting especially with a gun so I can kill reliably targets on the ground targets in the air with the gun with the mouse and keyboard if I try and switch to, if I try and s switch to the joystick, it probably is qu uh, some, a question of like me just not being used to it. But if I try and switch uh, uh, to it, like sure, I can totally kill things with uh, with the gun. Just gonna speed it up. Um, I can do fancy flying. I can go through all the nooks and crannies over here on the space elevator but but like the speed of movements at least in this game can be higher on my keyboard which means you can pull off uh, certain things faster even if less accurate even the even if the precision is less so than with the mouse and keyboard but of course like being able to do something like this and hopefully not crash yeah I'm not gonna crash here um, being able to do something like this even as someone that is an experience like I can I absolutely do see already the advantages of a flight controller versus versus the mouse probably would argue um, let me just lower the speed <laughs> Maybe I am just a bit too harsh uh, to, towards it. Okay. Now the real challenge here. Can I get into the damn tunnel over here? Without crashing. As a far bigger challenge. No. Okay. So. Okay. I'm not going to make it there. So you do it, like I, I see clips of uh, pilots um, flying aircraft in like rough weather or doing rough landings, right? Or when there's uh, there's crosswinds and they're constantly like 
Like one of the things that I'm finding that I need to readjust, like on the mouse and keyboard, there is a tendency uh, to, uh, to um, like when you're doing a movement, there is certainly a tendency uh, to, uh, um, hold on. So like when you're going in direction, direction, just gonna slow down because this might crash. Okay, not the fastest, not the smoothest, but it will do. You're not the uh, like unless you're trying to get an S ranking, you're not gonna struggle for time in this mission. Just gonna speed up a bit, not too much. Okay, just moving slowly. Keep in mind that I've literally got only a handful of hours of experience with this thing, and this is the kind of level where, like, you can have thousands of hours of experience with a controller and you can still crash very, very easily, as many people have. Also, I didn't pick the parts that give me greater maneuverability, so I am just screwing myself over quite pretty hard over here. Okay, let me speed down. Just adjust. Constant adjustments. Okay, just gonna speed up a bit. If I switched to the mouse and keyboard, this would be easy and I would probably be able to get the get away with doing like double the speed, if not triple the speed. But I had this question of experience. Though also having those faster movements means faster reaction times per potentially. Though the inaccuracy of those movements can and will bite you pretty damn hard. Okay, so that's open, but I don't trust it. Like in the actual mission itself, you're supposed to come. Okay, just slow down because I am at risk of crashing. And there's no checkpoint over here. Okay. Okay, let's just... <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things to keep in mind, like constantly... Constantly adjusting... Like, things that you just don't think about. Like, muscle memory is a real thing. Like, right now, I am basically having to learn how to use... Uh, this controller, so... Like, and certain things that, okay, that just come naturally. All right, almost there. Just gonna slow down a bit, or a lot. And pick up a bit of speed. Slow down, slow down. My crash at the end when I'm trying to go for the windbreak. Okay. Okay, I made it. Let's play the actual mission. I would get the checkpoint over here. So we're doing well, once I get into that chamber I think that's when the checkpoint is, but it puts you back in this tunnel. Not completely find it easier to get along with the mouse. Like right here, I'm just going to switch the mouse to get on that elevator. Although, getting on that uh, space elevator from here is obviously the easy part. The hard part is going through... Uh, going through... Oh, easy. <laughs> Easy. Using combination of mouse, throttle, and also the flight stick over here. Because while the throttle does have movement from the yaw controls, they aren't quite as good as. Uh. Oh uh, shit. They aren't quite quite as good 
All right, going full on mouse and keyboard right here. That's rare. You want to be stressed out. Do this mission. Do this with a particular flying sequence when you have no damn experience on a controller. You'll you'll be sweating quite a bit. I have tried it. I did uh, complete it as well, but yeah, a lot easier right now. I need to. Okay, almost. Almost. Ah, don't. <laughs> Yeah, I've crashed uh, 10 times over right now. Alright, almost out, almost out, almost out. Okay. Oh. Well, that was pretty damn rough. <laughs> okay. At least I can do the tunnel section with uh, the flight stick. So yeah, muscle memory. Like if you're good with a particular control method, trying to learn another one, regardless of how much better it can be intrinsically, is just gonna take time. That said, I certainly think like a flight stick for which planes are actually designed to fly with is uh, is going to be the superior method for, for me to ultimately play these flying games with. Even if it is going to take me dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of hours, to get to a level where I surpass my mouse and keyboard performance. Like that final section, like just man the maneuverability there in the space elevator, I did that. With, uh, with the mouse and keyboard. I do kind of wonder... Can I get inside the space elevator? Probably not so easy. Alright, switching. Escaping the space elevator is one thing. 11,000 meter. Kind of reaching the point where... Alright. Probably going to crash. I'm going to say that outright. Okay, that's not going to work. Alright, so we need... Okay. Alright. Okay, take it easy, take it Caution. easy. Oh. Okay, slow down. Slow down, damn it. <laughs> this is not the wise idea, by the way, because you can obviously pick up speed when you're... Oh, God. <laughs> you obviously pick up speed when you're nose down, right? And it's like, doesn't matter how much you slow down the plane, but it's like, you're just going to go supersonic over there and just crash from that good luck doing that section supersonic jeez okay that is enough fun so that is my experience with the mouse and keyboard versus the joystick a lot more stressful with the joystick at the moment but certainly the potential is uh there because why does that precise control matter i'll just give you an example there is this mission fleet destruction mission 11 in mission 11 you can go through the middle of some platforms you can see them on the right side you can go through the middle of some platforms in fact i might even just show you guys that particular mission so free mission ace uh fleet uh fleet destruction i've ignore quote unquote spoilers so this game has been out for quite a few years now so i, I don't care um I am going to pick the one aircraft I think is quite great for this particular mission. I haven't m managed to defeat this mission and get the quote-unquote ace Strider achievement. That's because the mission is long and you need to survive for 15 minutes and get the 30,000 score on ace difficulty. 
But there are two aces you can get in this mission. I think this is like the one mission where you really want, like if you want to test aircraft, you come in this particular mission. So let's speed up. Now, there are some platforms over here. Um, there are some platforms over here, two of them specifically. And there's also a carrier battle group. There will be more enemies that do spawn as you progress through the mission. But what I'm doing here is I'm going for the northern platform. I'm, I am on the joystick right now. And while you can certainly do this on the mouse, and I have done this on the mouse, I think it is possibly easier to pull this stunt off. Um, to pull this stunt off. Let's just fire a missile over there. Alright, let's speed down. Yeah. Okay. I might crash here, by the way. Yeah. I, uh, I didn't come in from the good enough angle. Point is, though, you want to go for those platforms. That's how you spawn one of the enemy aces in this particular mission. And the lack of precision... Sorry, like, the problem with the mouse is that the lack of precision that you do have with the mouse, like, um, especially how jerky it can be with, with the mouse and keyboard control. Like, some people who play mouse and keyboard literally just use, um, use the keyboard. I think that's probably the worst option, because... Like, you're losing the speed of potential movements that you do have on the mouse, because obviously the mouse can move very fast. The game won't keep up with you, that's the problem. Like, your mouse can move faster than the game, than any aircraft in any game can react. Okay, so I'm gonna need to go on the line, create the line with them. Just gonna switch to the controller over here. Okay, let's reduce speed. And once you obviously get used to it, um, you'll be able to, like, this is, this is like, snail. Uh, snail level speed. It will get you the achievement, but it's nothing fancy. But yeah. Like, you can do this with both mouse and keyboard and joystick, but... I find, like, when you're trying to have this kind of precision, and crucially, when you're trying to go very slow in any wrong movement, that's, this is, like, what it's really about. Um, gonna go get the ice, actually. Okay. Alright, there he is. Ibis. Um, but when you're in that situation where any kind of wrong movement on the mouse and key uh, on the mouse and keyboard well what's going on there i've sent the data make like wise men set up a sandwich like in those kind of tight quarters you just need to have those kind of safe movements even if they're less fast that was terrible. The mouse. I just figured, you know what, let me just do it. And now, if I go on the attack against the platform again... Okay. Just gonna adjust. Now, why the SU-33 for this particular mission? I'll tell you. Do I have... No, I didn't have luck. Ship 
So what I'm going to try and do here... What I also find is that... I also find that uh, getting used to a controller or getting used to a joystick does actually make me better with the mouse and keyboard because like that particular move, I didn't, I tried to do it when I just had the mouse and keyboard and although I came close, I didn't quite succeed it. I mean, I failed over there as well, just reduced uh, loss to my speed so on and so forth. Just supposed to follow now let's do something that I just wouldn't necessarily do right now. With um, Strider one, Head with the control. You want to know how you sink an aircraft carrier? That's how you sink an aircraft carrier. You shove two harpoons. And then that's it. Right. Or it didn't. Yeah, the problem is here that, um, like, it was targeting the wrong thing. So if I want. There we go. Come on. There's my missile. You need to target, like if you target the ship guns, you're gonna, your missiles are not going to sink the ship. This applies to the destroyer, so I did finally manage it. Could have done it. Okay, switching there. Fleet, and then just getting the hell out of there. That was close. But is that? Only need one for a frigate. Did they or did they miss? That looks like they missed. I almost lost the aircraft by four times while hitting the water. I'm going to. Ship destroyed. Frottle is still up. That might have caused me to. Alright, the fleet is gone. because it's causing me more issues Nothing. than it's worth right now. Enemy fleet has been neutralized. You guys just down some serious firepower. Now one thing to know by the way about the guns in this game. Nice the plane guns in this game. You can shoot them further than the reticle appears. Though of course they'll do far better once the reticle does appear. Or just the reticle appearing is an indication that you're within actual range. Alright. Well, that would be it for a moment. Quasin signing out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and any notifications, and stay tuned for more, because I am going to do a full playthrough of this game on Ace Difficulty with a flight stick on which I have very limited experience on. That's going to be fun.